I'm here sort of with my academic hat on. Um, you've heard about what governments and organisations can do for green ICT if they have the will. Really, I want to go down to the other end of the spectrum, which is where things are implemented by individuals in those organisations. So I'm an editor at the ANU where I teach web design and e-commerce technology, that sort of thing. Uh, but I also do things for the Australian Computer Society. And the Computer Society, two years ago, took an interest in green issues, sponsored the first audit of the amount of energy used by computers in Australia, published a report, published some policies and regulations, and we're all sitting around thinking, OK, that's very nice, but how can we make it happen? Um, one of the things I suggested was, well, uh, the professional body conducts training for uh, people in the IT industry. Why don't we have a green ICT course? So I put that up to our ACS area as an idea. And some months later, a request came back. Great idea, Tom. Could you write a course, please? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, but I don't know how to write e-learning courses. And they said, that's right. We'll teach you how to do that. And anyway, so I volunteered then at that stage. So. Um, the course started um, officially on Sunday, for the first group of students for the first semester for this course, and this is a 13-week e-learning course, so equivalent to a six-unit course at ANU one semester thing, but it's entirely uh, via the web, on the internet, there are no lectures, uh, there's no face-to-face -face thing, it's all done using open source Australian development uh, e-learning technology. Sponsored by the Australian Computer Society, they're actually in this case paying me money. It's the first time the Computer Society has ever paid me money. Um, and it's part of what's called the Com Computer Professional Education Program. And this is designed for computer people, they've been here or somewhere, a degree in computing or in the equivalent, they've started work, they think they know everything about computing. They've been working for a little while, they realise to get promoted, they're going to need to know more about IT, but more importantly, they're going to need to know about management stuff. So, uh, this is a postgraduate program for them, mostly teaching them management stuff about handling people. The society got together with the British Computer Society, the Canadian Computer Society, and some others in the world, and are coordinating these sorts of programs to do a global standard for professional competence for our people. And the Australian PEP program is supposed to be globally accredited under the scheme in that program, and there's a couple of universities in Australia where you've done the Computer Society thing, you can go along and say, give me some credit towards my master's type course. So it's that sort of level. We're not talking about teaching technicians how to install boards and computers. Places like the Peter Schumann in New South Wales are doing an excellent job about teaching computer technicians about how to install virtualization, low power processes, that's about how we do policy 